Keep it a secret. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Thank you very well, much. 24 is a wonderful age. Plus, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Well, I really appreciate it. Well, you don't have time to do these things. Oh, I'm, <laughs> you're too I busy. A, I have a little gremlin there works for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know it was your birthday. He told me. <laughs> thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Many happy returns. Thank you. And I've got a call I've got to give to you. Do you have to do this other event first, Jim? If we if you get that call, we now have to out there do it. Yeah, I'm going to put a call through to you right now from Charles Wick, okay? Oh. Hopefully it'll just take a All moment. All right. Mr. Lang, Mr. Lang, I just said, well, this week is a pleasure to meet you and to be able to tell you my admiration for what you have done. Well, thank you very much. And what you continue to do. Well, this is really sort of a climactic privilege as part of it all and makes it all very worthwhile. I understand that a great many young people in public school, 121, say that you're the reason they're staying. Well, we'd like to continue to be more of a better reason. It's working out very really well. It's very inspirational. And so many people have been attracted now to uh, try to cooperate with in extending the program. Well, that's and of course, it's very wonderful that you take an interest. Well, that I do. Thank you. I've worked my way through <laughs> a small college. Yes, I guess. I guess. But, uh, Maybe that's a wonderful thing, because I think probably the greatest reason for dropouts is a desire for money. Well, it's actually a lack of motivation, and I think it's not the money that's done it. I think it's the fact that each kid, as part of the program, has identified something they want to be. The streets don't have to do it. Yeah. They want to be something, and they feel now there's a credible opportunity for them to get it. And that's what's keeping in mind. None of them receive any money. They just receive the whole yes, and they keep that. So it's, uh, we, I, I, I have great hopes for it, and uh, it's a prototypical no, moment. No, I meant that the job was for kind of hunger to, to right. start earning some money or getting it. Well, or the fact that the, the people, they don't want to be anything, the street fills in a vacuum. Yeah. We haven't had any dropouts against a statistic 
that in the inner city, the minor, minority groups will be a 70 to 90 percent dropout rate. It just, the statistic is so dramatic and so uh, extraordinary that uh, uh, it's, it's really hard to believe. But it just shows what faith in itself and some self-esteem can do. And each one of these kids has it. Well, thank you for coming in. Here's just a little souvenir so you won't forget. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Right on the desk. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Right. Thank you for taking the time. Well, thank you. From then on, going became a successful industrialist. He told the kids in that school that every one of them would stay in school and graduate. He'd guarantee that they got to went to college. How about that? I was just talking about that. And you know, he's coming together. He sees them every Saturday morning. We they, they, they come to his office in business. Uh, he goes over there, talks to them. Yeah. Take a piece he's really a father figure to them. Is what he's done. Yeah, this is the uh, American Association of Retired Twentieths. 20 million member. Yes. And he said, just be careful of these people, eh? Put that off. <laughs> Yes. 
and I was governor of California, one day I got a demand, literally, from the student officers of the nine campuses of the University of California, demanded immediately me. Well, I was overjoyed, because if I tried to go to the campus, it, you know, they'd burn me an effigy and would be around. Yes. <laughs> well, anyway, they came in, and as was the custom of that day, t-shirts, some torn, some of them barefoot, and slouched into the seats there in the cabinet room where I met with them in Sacramento. And then one as a spokesman started in without any preamble at all. And he said to Governor, it's impossible for you to understand us. He said, you cannot understand our generation. When I tried to pass it off, I said, we know more about being young than we do about being old. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, he said, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. He said, you can't understand your own sons and daughters. You didn't grow up in an age of instant electronics. You weren't growing up space travel and journeys to the moon. And he went on with all of these things. Mm -hmm. And jet travel and everything else. And finally, it just dawned that usually you think of the answer once you're home. Yes. yes. But he talked long enough that the phone was merciful. <laughs> and I interrupted him and I said, you're absolutely right. Our generation never didn't have any of those things when we were growing up. We invented them. <laughs> 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 Let's go up by the river. Listen, I will take the prerogative of the senior member here to start it off. Sure I know that the time is limited, and each one of us want to have a word to say. I uh, uh, wish that we had had more time before uh, the bill got debated and uh, voted on and so forth to really explain our, our position on it. We did bring some information, perhaps, that had not been given to you. This is the uh, shows what would have happened if uh, the uh, pledge that you had made back in 1980 had uh, been agreed to, that is market growth. This is really what has happened. And this, of course, is the uh, what a graphic uh, display of what's happened since the car years of, of imports. Uh, this shows the increase in the uh, textile and apparel trade deficit, which is now approaching $20 billion. This very graphically displays and shows the uh, loss of jobs, the black line being the loss of jobs, the other line being the increase in import. And of course, uh, I could go on and on with respect to uh, to this. I know that uh, uh, your advisors are advising a veto of this bill, but uh, this does mean a great deal to our states and our, our region. This is not just a uh, regional problem, as indicated by this chart, which shows the employment in uh, textile and apparel around the country, including New York, California, and uh, as well as the states uh, represented here. But, uh, of course, for uh, pointing to the Republican administration's lack of regard for the American worker, we will create doubts in the voter mind about. 